Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you fix this blue screen of death you might get on a Windows 7 machine. Now the fixes that I'm going to show you will work on other operating systems such as Windows 8 and Windows 10 I believe you see this issue on. So when your machine crashes, it crashes to this a blue screen that will look like this. Up the top here it will say page fault in non-paged area. Uh, the stop code will be 0 times 0, 0, 0, 0050. Sometimes underneath the stop code it will tell you exactly what file has caused the blue screen. Uh, but we can't see it here because yeah, probably 50% of the time it doesn't show it at all. So I'm going to show you how you can easily fix this issue. If you do find that this guide helps you, please subscribe to my channel to get video updates. Uh, but to fix this issue, uh, we need to look at the device drivers. So if you click on Start Menu, type in Device and then click on Device Manager. Okay, you need to log on as an admin. I've logged on with my non-admin accounts. Uh, but what you need to do is, if you look at the display driver and also the network driver, so for example this one if you just right click on it and go to properties and go to driver it's going to show you the driver version here so here we can see it's 8.4.1 so if you just go on to the website for your adapter so here it's going to be intel so if you go to the intel website and search for that driver um, and then download the latest driver install that on the system so if you do that for the network adapter and the display adapter so if you install a newer version, reboot your machine and you shouldn't get that blue screen of death come up again. If you do get the issue, come back again. What you can do is, if you right click on there, there'll be an uninstall um, option there. So if you uninstall both of the drivers, reboot your machine, then reinstall the driver again. Because what that will do is it will completely remove the driver and all the files and registry settings and other things it puts on your system. So it will be a clean install of the driver. Um, if you are still having issues, another thing you can do is it's possible that one of the files is corrupted. So open up Windows File Explorer. Go to uh, the computer. If you right click on there, go Properties. Click on Tools. Under Error Checking, if you click on this uh, button here, Check Now. Okay. If you make sure that both boxes there are ticked, and if you click on Start, uh, it's going to say it, it can't do it now, so you need to schedule it. So if you click on Schedule, press on OK. If you then restart your machine, it's then going to run a scan on your system, which will automatically fix any corrupt um, files, and it will recover um, information from bad sectors as well, and that will resolve your issue. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.